So, here we have it. There's the rear ramp down. It's only a fold out ramp, so it's not a big heavy hydraulic one underneath. So, because my plans are if my wife is disabled, has to use her wheelchair and her scooter, I'm going to keep that as a means of entry and entry for her and just build the back end as a garage around that. So we go up into the bus. As I say. Nice bit of space I think for converting. So there is. Probably going to take at least half of those windows out. Considering leaving the two here in the middle with the sliding vents in them, but reducing them down in size, covering up about half of them possibly. The rest, taking them out and replacing and covering them up so as I can build storage above them. So that was only really built for about five people and a few, three or four wheelchairs. Some of these suits just sort of slap back and you can get the wheelchairs in. And the arrangement. Have a little bit of trouble with the doors at the moment. So if anybody out there has done one of these or has some experience of the how the doors operate in these, I'm assuming the door mechanism is above the driver's seat there. There's a little cupboard which I'm hoping is where that is. Then we come down here, which is an automatic, seven speed automatic, has radio, has speakers, has an East Batcher, if that's how they say them, heater already built in, although all the vents as you see come from up here. So I'm hoping I'll be able to reroute the trunking from it down lower. Maybe even keep one or two of those up there, possibly. So that speakers, she's got CCTT in it. She has air suspension, which can be lowered or raised so she can kneel. She's fitted with a fire extinguisher system for the engine bay which I don't know if you can quite see down in there and that's it in there and then the fire extinguisher for inside and she has a camera thing here for internal cameras for the rear camera and there's the controls for raising and lifting the suspension and a little control for speakers and music because I can even talk so my wife without having to go near her, social distance <laughs> sorry guys that's a joke here <laughs> especially after say she sees this <laughs> okay so there's there's some of the information on her she's eight foot three high she's six foot ten wide and she's 22.6 long or for those of you that love the metric 2.540 in height 2.080 in width and 6.850 in length and she's just about 2,890 kilos drives in an ordinary license so there we go guys so first job give a bit of a good clean out and take out some of these seats if anyone's interested they're not in bad order so this, these ones towards the back work on a folding arrangement. They sort of just turn and fold into the side. So they do. So it might be useful for someone who wants an additional seat in their van. But one that can be folded up and has the seat belts fitted into the seat. So you don't have to worry about having to anchor them. So if anyone's interested in any of those, please by all means Give me a shout on my Facebook page, message me 
and uh, I'll not be too hard to deal with. So, has a large skylight, which I'm thinking of keeping. And I'll put a Max R fan maybe somewhere up here or to the back, not quite sure yet. Has built in speakers. And has these reels along the top, which I'm not sure what they're for. Maybe someone out there can tell me. What do you hang from those? <laughs> not the seats, surely. Anyway, that's a quick tour for now, guys. So, haven't decided on a name yet. So, any suggestions, welcome. She will not be staying red. I uh, don't like the red. It's not my favourite colour for a vehicle. So. Um, I hope this video isn't too bad, too jerky. I'm doing it on my smartphone, but I've never really done it like this. So. Anyway. That's her. That's my project, but being on lockdown, I think I would just start with the mechanics and make sure everything is A-OK, -okay. so I will, so.